Batch scripting and recording is like making a batch of cookies. The more cookies you make, the more hungry mouse you could feed, and also the more time you save by doing it as a batch. Imagine making just one cookie at a time when you could make 20 cookies at a time, you know, on one sheet. And this is the same thing with a video. Imagine making one video at a time and scripting one video when you could just do three to four videos, film them all at once, saving you so much time and making you more successful in the long run because you're getting more more videos out there and feeding like more hungry mouse like cookies but with videos for your clients. <laughs> Batch scripting your videos is gonna save you a lot of time and partly it's because of the filming process. Now, I'm gonna get into the filming process in the next couple of modules, but all you need to know now is that the scripting and research part of making a YouTube video is usually longer than the actual filming part. So if you script your video well, or just have a lot of bullet points and you have it from just start to finish, you're gonna save a lot of time when you actually get behind the camera to film, you're gonna just be ready to go. So an eight to 10 minute length script can take, let's say 15 to 20 minutes to film. I mean, and that's if you're on top of things and you could actually possibly even film quicker than that. So if you already have, let's say three video scripts ready and completed, then you could easily film three videos at one time and do it in under an hour. So if you're posting one video a week, then you already have three weeks of content lined up. This is how you're gonna be more efficient and able to make more videos to reach more customers while still managing your real estate business. My tip for you is to take one day for a couple hours and write down all your scripts. And then the next day, you could actually film for an hour or you can even script three to four videos and film them all and do it just in the same day. I mean, for one day of work, you could potentially have videos completed for an entire month. If you are posting once a week, you film four videos and you're already done. The amazing thing about YouTube is YouTube actually allows us to schedule out our content weeks or months in advance. And this is how I have four to five buyers at one time showing them every day. And I still have videos being posted consistently because I could take one day, I could film and script all my videos and then that one day is videos for the entire month. So like I said, with cold calling and door knocking, those require you to be working in the business, you know, not on the business. You're just having to cold call, door knock, and you're just in this machine instead of you creating a machine. And then you could be out with your family on the beach. You could be showing homes. You could just be making more videos and it's just a well-oiled machine. The videos are always posting. They're always going out. You just got to really create a good system and process to make that happen. My last tip for you is say you're doing pros and cons videos. Say you're doing cost of living videos. I mean, eventually you're going to have, let's say four to five, six cities you're trying to target. Well, don't like delete your scripts. Keep all your scripts in a Google Drive document, a Dropbox, some kind of cloud, because then you could just take that script and just change out things like city names, the neighborhood, the community names. And then you're not constantly trying to reinvent the wheel. You just create, you know, 10 good video templates on pros and cons, cost of living, moving, and then you just change out the data for other cities, making things a lot quicker for you to make more content. And what I even like to do is say, I'm gonna do a cost of living video in one city, I'll do four cities actually for that one video topic. So I'll film four cities all at once with that same topic because then I'm already in the groove of doing that same kind of video. And then I just spread those out throughout the month. It's pretty awesome. YouTube can be as easy or as hard as you want to make it. Having these systems and processes make having a YouTube channel more sustainable while still managing your business. And if you have a busy business right now with a lot of buyers and sellers, you especially need to do this. And if you don't have a lot of business right now, you still want to do this. So you have a good foundation of practices that you're going to do for the future. You know, you want to have good habits starting out. And if you have bad habits right now, it's just going to hurt you in the long run. And by having lots of videos out there, it's going to just create massive scale for your business with so many buyers and sellers, you won't know what to do with. You just need to make sure that you batch produce and script on one day. So no matter how big your business is, you're always just staying consistent. Consistent. So our next topic is actually going to talk about how to model other YouTubers and to see what's working and what's not working.